Okay, so um, I am basically going through the entirety of Genshin Impact, or uh, the main story at least. Uh, this is episode one. We're just starting out, and it will definitely be interesting. Um, I have played this before, and it's in Japanese. Hold on, I will change that. I will change that later. We'll play on the English version, but. お前たちがそこから離れて次の世界へ行こうとした時見たこともない神がお前たちの前に現れたと。よそ者、お前たちの旅はここまでだ。この天理の朝廷者がここで人の子の重りに終焉を。Okay, so, so here we get to choose which character we want. Uh, I'm going to be playing the guy because I have another account that's a female and then I have my main account that's male. So this will be another male account. I will name myself uh, Tin Can. Oh, I can't have that. Okay. Um, Tin Can. Yes, I will name myself Tin Can. こうして、見知らぬ神が俺の妹ホタルを連れ去っていった。そして、俺も神に封印され、本来の力を失うことになる。あまたの世界を乗り越えてきた俺たちは、ここで囚われの身となった。果たしてそれから何年経ったのか、俺にはもうわからない。でもいずれ必ず突き止めてみせる。目覚めてからずっと一人でさまよっていた。二ヶ月前、君と出会うまで。おう、あの時お前がいなかったら、おいらはもうと
takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? over the world. Among the seven gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's the reason why. The outlander who caught the winds. We are basically an outlander. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. I'll leave this chest for now so I can mark it later on the interactive map that I'll be using. You can swim right over. Yes. And luckily I ha I do have the stamina for that. All you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of Animo. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh-huh. It's because you're not from this world to begin with. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Great, so we basically got the power of Animo. Okay, we got some mail. I will do this survey right now, so I'll be back when I've done it, when I'm when I'm done with it, because these primary gems will help us later on. Okay, I am now back and I have done the survey, so we got we get these 50 free primary gems. Let's continue. I will leave all of these chests for now because I don't want to miss them later. Oh, that was a big dragon. It's heading towards the heart of the forest. We must proceed with caution. Huh? 
Look at that! <gasps> Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> of your hair, thanks. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Yeah. Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here! Nice. Adventure rank 3. Amber to the rescue. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but we've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Our first ever character, Amber. She will help us while exploring and unlocking new stuff. So, suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my... Sorry, I'll just switch weapon for uh, real quick. All right. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand it a bit. I'm just grabbing these orange chunks because it, uh, we'll soon get quests to gather these to their blacksmith in Mondstadt.
our second waypoint. Uh, a hilly turtle. Quick, get it. Yeah. These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Another chest. Let's hope for a better weapon. No, okay. Okay, so this is our first side quest. Uh, I'm doing this now, so we don't have to do it later. This is Lynn. Uh, I'm the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yep. That's. What should I cook next? <laughs> oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good. I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. Oh, there's a cooking pot right there. Show me what you got. It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. So let's cook. This is the first time we get introduced to cooking. We are going to make some chicken skewers. We don't have a character with a bonus, so let's just cook it. Let's get it to perfect. Nice, we can cook two of them. That's it. Now let's talk to Lynn. Is it done? Mmm, smells good. Let me try. Mmm. 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 Uh, uh-oh. Now that's really tasty. You're indeed gifted. Paimon told you so! With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! Okay, that was our first side quest. I will not be doing 
side quests in the middle of main quests uh, like this. Now in the beginning I will mainly just be doing main quests and this is just to get somewhere in the story and then later on I will have exploration and side quests episodes. <laughs> introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Havonius. Jean, defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Havonius headquarters, I have a present for you, traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey, why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy, Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. Our first... no. Our third waypoint. I will just quickly go get my fourth waypoint. This is just to make it easier for me later and not have to waste more time to go grab it after I'm done with this quest that I'm about to do. Also to show you a quest or a chest that if you haven't come this before, there's a there's a there's a lux luxurious chest right here. Is this an answer from this world? Is that my character? That's talk speaking. Talking. Okay. <sighs> I was just about to die from fall damage, but I saved myself. And then another Can't give up. Now another chest that I'll be showing you. You go over here. And you just <gasps> go through all of these hoops. Get another like luxurious chest. You can open that I'll one. Keep this close. Perfect. And now to get a quick shipments, you can just go up on this statue right here. Climb up. 
and then you can sit in her hands on her hands not in you can sit on her hands and you'll get an achievement forgot i didn't have a glider whoops so the present i want to give you is a wind glider Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Uh, alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. And press space. Then I'll glide all the way down. For those who don't know, Amber has in her talents gliding champion. Decrease decreases gliding stamina consumption for your own party members by 20%. Not stackable with passive talents that provide the exact same effects. Which basically means you can glide 20% more than if you didn't have Amber on your team or in your party. I think that's how it works. The sky! For those who don't know, that's Venti. We will be introduced to that character later on in the story. But for now, let's pretend we don't know. got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. 
Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. So this was the first episode of me, Tin Can, going through the Genshin Impact storyline. Uh, we are currently adventuring 4, and next episode we will continue with the main story, but we'll also try and wish for a new character. This character will be, probably be our main up until we get another better character, or we can build upon the first character that we get with better team we will not invest that much in our main character and amber so we'll see how it goes a lot of these episodes will be pre-recorded so if you still want to say something in the comments go ahead i won't stop you but remember that i can't really change anything that happens in the next episode thank you all for watching and i'll hope to see you in the next episode goodbye